go ahead and get started. Our first speaker is Michelle Wynn, our lone brave master student <laughs> in the competition. Um, Michelle is in the reproduction group, studying under Dr. Barry Ball. She got her bachelor's degree in animal science from here at UK, and then joined her master's program in 2014. Um, during that time, she has taken a slight hiatus to have a baby. That's <laughs> keeping her busy, as you expect. But she will be soon defending her master's uh, thesis. And with that, I'll turn it over to Michelle. Progesterone is a hormone that's essential for pregnancy maintenance. In late gestation in the mare, we look for certain changes in progesterone concentrations to help us diagnose pregnancy-related diseases or other complications. To do this, most often we use immunoassays. Immunoassays are fairly easy to use and pretty cheap. They require the use of an antibody, which is able to identify and capture progesterone in the sample. Now, there's a problem with immunoassays in late gestation, and it's this. In the mare in late gestation, there's actually such low concentrations of progesterone that they're often completely undetectable. Instead, progesterone is metabolized into several closely related hormones called pregnanes. Now, there are several of these, and they're in pretty high concentrations at this time. In this figure, I've included three of them, and as you can see, the structures are very similar to progesterone. And the issue this causes is, depending on the antibody used in that immunoassay, it's not going to be able to differentiate between those structures. Therefore, the results are not necessarily progesterone, but the total of all those pregnanes that that antibody can identify. To illustrate this problem, you can see in the bar graph we have four assays, one through four. We looked at one sample, and we analyzed that single sample across these different immunoassays. And you can see a drastic change in those concentrations, and that's due to the fact that each of those are using a different antibody. Now, as I said, this is all the same sample, but this doesn't imply that there's necessarily one right or wrong assay to use. What this tells us is that currently in the equine industry, there's no standardization for hormone quantification. So when you look at these different assay results, it makes comparing them quite difficult. Now, we have an answer for this, and our lab proposes using mass spectrometry, or mass spec. Mass spec, unlike immunoassays, doesn't require an antibody at all. Instead, it uses certain characteristics of the molecule, such as its mass and its charge, to be able to identify and measure these concentrations. Because of this, because it's not relying on identifying the structure, it's able to identify each of these individual pregnancies throughout gestation and measure them. By using mass spec, we could get rid of the problem of having no standardization. So from clinic to clinic, lab to lab, we could make equal comparisons from our results. Further, in late gestation, we would be able to look at these pregnant concentrations and see how they relate with pregnancy complications and pregnancy-related diseases. Thank you. Thank you. 